Hello and welcome to What Would Dorsey Do This Week? I am excited to be bringing you some information about really understanding your alienation situation and really decoding the situation that you're in. And you might be aware that trying to get the professionals and people in your life to understand the alienation and how it's impacting your children and what to do about it to ultimately reunite with your alienated kids is a real problem for you and for a lot of other parents. The space is now flooded with people cropping up every day with reunification plans and programs and, you know, everybody that, um, knows about alienation now in the professional community is talking about it, which is really good. There is starting to become critical mass. And people have asked me if I trained um, Teal Swan, whose videos just came out because she spoke very matter of factly, which is how she speaks about parental alienation and sharing a lot of the information that I've been sharing with you here for years. So the space is getting flooded now, which is really good news for all of us. I do giggle to myself every time I release a video. A couple of days later, there are people, new coaches and people propping up with um, the same, using the same vernacular. So the good news is that they're now copying the stuff that actually works and they're saying and doing, um, they're saying anyways, what we've been talking about here for years. And many parents are joining our groups, and we started this group many years ago with Dr. Childress, and we've now just started a new group for professionals. So if you know someone who is a professional working with your family or with families in this space, then please send them our way. Send them to our uh, uh, Parental Alienation Solutions for Professionals group. And don't try to join the group if you're just a parent because it is strictly for professionals working in this space. This group here, the Alliance to Solve Parental Alienation is for you. If you're watching along on YouTube, then please join our Facebook group as well, the Alliance to Solve Parental Alienation. I've been on a mission to end parental alienation since 2006 when I discovered the problem in my own family and started to work on a solution when I discovered that there was really not a solution. And just like a lot of experts that, that are cropping up today, there were a ton of experts on the problem known as parental alienation. And when I reached out to a lot of those experts, they treated me really poorly, rejecting me and you know, when I would say, well, I'm the alienated kid, I'm an, I'm an adult child, they didn't really know what to do about it. So their common response was, well, just solve it and just reunite with your dad and just do it. And I thought it was really surprising that most of those people, really all of them, didn't have a solution for me. When I first joined Facebook in 2007, I was the only adult child of parental alienation on Facebook. There was nobody talking about alienation and it was crickets. And I remember I had a business coach at the time and crying, you know, there's nobody doing this work and oh my gosh, I, I don't know where the parents are and nobody's talking about it. And, you know, here today, there are lots of groups about parental alienation. This one, this Alliance to Solve Parental Alienation, we are strictly focused on the solution. So my mission is to end parental alienation. I've been doing this for nearly two decades and been leading the charge in solutions. And so we are here today because of the blood, sweat and tears that I put into this space to actually recover parents and children. And I know you can imagine waking up every morning feeling this deep sense of loss, knowing that your child is out there somewhere and you can't believe that you're not with them and you're trying everything to reunite with them, but nothing seems to work and you feel stuck and this pain is unbearable. And I know many of you imagine this, of course, because it's happening right now to you. And then I want you to imagine what is going on for your child. The same thing is going on for your child, except they bought into the deception and the lies and turned on you. And then they, as they emerge out of the darkness or when they emerge out of the darkness, they're feeling the same shame, humiliation and guilt that was overpowering them. And many adult children that rise up out of the pathology, instead of reaching out, 
um, to reconnect with you, they end up stopping the connection with the other parent. And so many people that are adult children of this family dynamic don't rise up out of the pathology and certainly don't publicly because of the amount of attacks that most of us as adult children experience. And most of them won't reach out to their targeted parent because of the shame and the guilt, the overwhelming power of those two manifestations of pain and suffering in the human consciousness. And oftentimes when they do reach out to their parent, their parent is distraught and um, unable to really handle the evolving and rising up alienated child. And I want to help you really recover yourself and stand in your power so that you can recover your beloved children or you're ready when they fold back in. And the truth be told, you can't really recover your child and you, until you clean up your side of the aisle. So many of you are wandering around in the forest and you can't see the forest through the trees. And so until you clean up your side of the forest, it's always going to be cloudy and foggy. So in other words, you have to know about how you got where you are right now. And you also need to know where it is that you are going. Even when you have a plan, there is something that professionals are not helping you with because most of them don't know about it and they don't really understand it. Even if they're watching my videos and copying what it is that I'm saying in my videos, they don't actually know how to do the he deeper healing work. And what I'm talking about today is your unconscious limiting belief system and that how they are working against you. And they're really preventing you from taking the necessary steps towards really healing and reuniting with your beloved children. So today I want to talk to you about how these limiting beliefs impact your ability to reconnect with your kids and to share some examples of some of the common ones like my child hates me or the system is broken or there's nothing I can do, I've tried everything. And this also explains why most alienated parents are stuck because they're not following a proven method that actually has worked time and time and time again. So they're listening to people who are bringing forward methods and talking about their reunification plans, but maybe they're not actually parents. Maybe they're not alienated parents who are recovered parents. Maybe they're not formerly alienated children who are actually recovered children and reunited with their alienated parent. So we're gonna explore two of the most powerful limiting beliefs today, one about deservingness and the other about getting help for free as well, and how those also prevent many parents from taking action. So let's get started by looking at some of the common unconscious limiting beliefs that really hinder reunification or the efforts that you're making. So a lot of people call us and like I made like five steps forward and then I feel like 10 steps back. And this, oftentimes is mired in the first belief of my child hates me. And this belief often stems from the feelings of guilt and shame over the past mistakes and misunderstandings. So it leads parents down a path of self-blame and despair and making it really difficult for you to see any hope for reconciliation or reconciliation. So your child by the way, feels the very same feelings of guilt and shame, and they're seeking the role model to lead them out of despair. Again, if you have not led yourself out of that belief system, you can't possibly lead your children out of the belief system as well. So another common belief is the system is broken. Parents who hold this belief may feel powerless in their attempts to navigate the legal system or to seek support from professionals. So they may give up too soon without exploring all the possible options or even worse, seeking help and support from professionals who are completely incompetent and don't understand the family dynamic or how to actually solve it. I'm still seeing professionals, mental health professionals, legal professionals, people in the space using stupid language like the resist and refuse dynamic. It's ridiculous. That is not a diagnosable pathology. And then the third example of an unconscious limiting belief is there is nothing I can do. I've done everything and there's nothing I can do. And this thought pattern really creates a sense of resignation and defeatism, defeatism in parents who believe it. 
And you may stop searching for solutions altogether because they feel like a lost cause. Or maybe you've been listening to my videos over and over and over again, but you're still stuck in the data loop, in the pattern of there's nothing I can do. Nothing works. I've tried everything. All of these beliefs are rooted in fear and uncertainty, and they keep you stuck in a cycle of negative thinking that really prevents you from taking positive action towards reunification. So what can you do to break free from these limiting beliefs? The first step is to recognize when they're present. So you have to pay attention to your thoughts and your feelings as you work towards reconnecting with your child. And there are um, oftentimes reoccurring themes or patterns that emerge in your thinking. So you, you have to notice, are you giving up too soon? Or are you feeling hopeless? Pay attention to the thoughts and feelings that are coming up for you. Once you identify your limiting belief, challenge it. Ask yourself, is it really true? Can you find evidence to support the opposite? And seek out stories and experiences from other parents who have successfully reunited with their children despite similar challenges. And I also want to talk about the other two um, limiting beliefs, why most parents stay stuck in their alienation story because they're not following a proven, a proven plan. Reunification is hard work. There's no denying that it's hard and it requires commitment, patience, and persistence over time. But many, many parents, they get stuck because they don't know where to start and they don't know how to stay focused on their goals. So this is where a proven plan comes in handy. A good plan provides structure and guidance for each step along the way helping parents still stay motivated and accountable throughout the process. And even when you have a solid plan in place, some people still struggle with taking action due to the additional two limiting beliefs I talked about earlier, which is deservingness and getting help for free. Deservingness is the belief that we only deserve good things if we've earned them through hard work and sacrifice. And this belief can actually prevent us from seeking help when we need it because we feel like we haven't done enough yet. The other limiting belief is around getting help for free. Many parents believe that someone else should provide all of the answers without compensation simply because they're suffering so much already. And the funny thing is, is I actually provide a ton of free content. I provide content here for free all of the time and on our YouTube channel. And yet the same people keep coming back over and over and over again and not implementing what they're learning. And I've put out so much free content that other people are copying it and pretending that they are the experts, that they've been doing this work for a long time. Some people have even stolen my story as a adult alienated child claiming that they are that child and they're not. There are adult alienated children that are rising up, so I'm not talking about them, but there are certain people in this space who have actually hijacked my personal story. Can't make this stuff, stuff up. It's the wild, wild west out there, and I've seen this happen through my life in many different areas of my career, and this is the way of the world and the way things eventually come into critical mass, which is how I started this call or started this, this video, the sharing, is that there are people now talking about this family dynamic and starting to frame it up properly. Teal Swan being one of them who has a massive audience and her talking about parental alienation, even though she's not a practitioner in the area, is good for all of us. The rising tide lifts all boats. So both of these beliefs, the belief of taking advantage of resources, deservingness, or not taking advantage of resources available, like the Reconnect program and the amazing guided healing sessions we do in that program, which can help move you forward towards reunification. And then also the unconscious limiting belief that I should be getting it for free or that people should be serving it for free because you've suffered enough. Forgetting that we aren't the ones who caused the suffering. So unconscious limiting beliefs can be a major obstacle in reuniting you with your alienated kids. They keep you stuck in the negative thought patterns that really prevent you from taking action. And to overcome these beliefs and challenges, then you have to head on and seek out the support from professionals 
and who have paved the way, who are further along in the journey than you, who've successfully reunited with their own children, who successfully reunited with their own parent, who have followed and even created a proven plan and have recovered children and parents all over the world. Don't let deservingness or getting help for free hold you back. You can implement what we provide here for free. And if you've been struggling and you've been listening to all the free content that you haven't been able to do it, then I highly recommend connecting in with somebody on my team to talk to you about your limiting beliefs and about the reconnect program. You deserve to reconnect with your alienated child and build a meaningful relationship together sooner rather than later. And working with us, people who've paved the way before you, who solved the problem, not only for ourselves and everybody on my team, but also the people that we serve. We have dealt with this family dynamic for the better part of two decades. As the founder and CEO of Conscious Co-Parenting Institute, we offer reunification programs that really aim to help you reconnect with your alienated children. That is the purpose of our program. That is the purpose of our business. It's the reason I created the Conscious Co-Parenting Institute is to eliminate parental alienation, to obliterate it and wipe it, wipe it from the human consciousness. And one of the things that really sets us apart from other programs is we use the proper terminology. We follow a step-by-step -step process that works. And we also incorporate in our training, in our programs, beautiful healing processes with me, guided healing in the deeper parts of your unconscious mind in connecting those parts of you that are really disconnected and suffering, bringing them back into the active experience and working together with you to recover your beloved children. So I am a highly experienced reunification coach, a trailblazer with proven evidence-based solutions for families facing alienation with nearly two decades of experience solving the problem for countless families around the world. I've developed these unique programs that have helped parents and children successfully reunite after experiencing the trauma of alienation. My approaches are based on solid research and clinical experience. We get court ordered in some of our programs all over the world. We understand the specific needs of each family. Unlike other programs that take a one size fits all approach, our programs recognize that every situation is a little different, which requires individualized attention. So through my experience in this area, both as a formerly alienated kid and a parent and a reunification specialist for almost two decades, I've become widely recognized as a leading provider of a solution. And the courts are ordering our programs based on the experience that they've had in other families that have gone through our programs. People who don't invest in their personal growth and healing often have more difficult time really reuniting with their kids because you have not acquired the necessary tools to un address the underlying issues that caused the problem in the first place. Alienation is complex and it requires a multifaceted approach, including addressing these underlying psychological and emotional issues that may be contributing to the problem. So parents who are willing and able to invest in their own personal growth and healing, remove the struggle and help and understand and empathize with their child's perspective. And they can, they can make it easy for the child to fold back in and effectively communicate and rebuild trust. Many parents who are unwilling to do this lack the skills necessary to change and the, the dynamic and manage the conflict and navigate the challenging situation, which then further exasperates the tension between parents and the child. Ultimately, investing in your own personal growth and healing is essential for successfully reuniting with your alienated child. It allows you to better understand yourself and develop healthy coping mechanisms, build stronger relationships, and ultimately become better equipped to navigate the complex family dynamic. So by taking proactive action, you can increase your chances of successfully repairing your damaged relationship with your children. 
In 2017, I coined the phrase, the chosen parent, the parent the child is choosing to remove them from the family dynamic. The parent the child chooses to decode and discover what is happening and to shift how they're showing up to become the soft place to land for their child. Shifting from the targeted parent, the victim mindset, mired in the limiting beliefs, to the chosen power parent, the empowered parent, choosing to lead the child by example. Alienation is painful, and when you're experiencing the pain, you are unconsciously saying, you are the family member willing to do the healing work. Pain is part of the healing, suffering, is a choice. You can choose to continue to suffer or you can choose a different path. Healing is available to you. Reuniting with your children is available to you right now. On the healing session yesterday, I guided some parents to healing a deep wound that was uncovered and shifted the wound that they that had been laying dormant in their unconscious mind yet activated by showing up, by creating a way that they were showing up in the world. By shifting this narrative, this limiting belief in just one of the healing sessions, they shifted from being stuck and disempowered to really moving into the role of the chosen parent, the empowered parent, and just watching the dynamic shift just with my own physical eyes and the, and, and the other participants is magnificent. Every time I do a healing session, I'm in awe of the shifts and the power that happens in these really amazing healing sessions that happen during the Reconnect program. The Reconnect program is a 90-day reunification program where we guide you each step of the way to recover your beloved children, and it starts with you. And we walk with you every step of the way, going deeper and deeper and deeper into the recovery of your beloved children. Today, I just shared with you step one in the first phase in really the de decoding of how you got to where you are, really understanding your contribution, your belief system. The next step is really learning about your emotions and how to regulate them so you can do that. You can co-regulate with your children. And then the third step is responsibility, shifting your role from the targeted parent to the chosen parent. That's just in phase one. I call it the excavation phase and the reflection phase. It's in phase one that we really dig deep and have a deeper understanding of how you got to where you are who you are as the chosen parent and how you can really embrace that role, shifting how you show up so that you can move into phase two, which is rebuilding. And in rebuilding, we talk about, we dive into the first module there of communication mastery. We go really deep on mastering honest, assertive communication that will allow you to build core resiliency skills and then to build trust, how to architect trust with your alienated child so that they fold back in easily and that you're that beautiful soft place to land. And then the third phase is the reunite. Once you have gone through the refl reflection and rebuilding and we're doing healing sessions along the way, then we move into the low pressure reconnection phase. This is so fast. Once you shift how you're showing up, then reconnection happens easily. Next, we start to leverage the professional support. So, so many of you are stuck working with professionals who have no idea what to do and how to do it. And for those of you that have people that you feel like are working with you, but they don't know what to do, we have launched a professional group. So please direct them to the Parental Alienation Solutions Group so that we can talk to and educate the professionals working in this space, working with your families. The final step in the reconnect is the persistence compass system. This is where we really get clear on how to stay the course and being persistent and moving forward. So many parents don't take action because they're afraid to rock the boat or they're met with so much resistance, they don't know how to overcome it. And with the Persistence Compass, we really teach you how to overcome these things and stay the course to recover your beloved children. So if you want to be crystal clear on the exact steps that you should be following right now to achieve reunification with your beloved children, then make sure you schedule a call with somebody on my team and they'll be able to walk you through this process. Make sure you're a good fit.
Just know this is really for you if you are committed to improving your relationship with your beloved children, if you're open to seeking support, guided support, and working on yourself, doing the self the self-improvement work, and then ready to really invest in yourself and the recovery of your relationship with your children. You're ready to stop doing the same old, same old that isn't working any longer. I also want to let you know that we will be hosting a master class in a couple of weeks here in the, um, not here, we'll be hosting a master class, advanced strategies to really claim your role as the chosen parent. And there's a link that my team will post in here. If you want to participate in that free masterclass, you can do that as well. So we do offer free support as well. So if you want to go deeper in really embracing your role as a chosen parent in the masterclass, you can do that in the link that my team will provide here. Otherwise, we'll um, hopefully schedule a call and we'll see you there or we'll see you next week in the collective. I mean, in the um uh, what would Dorsey do? Thanks so much for listening today. Have an amazing, amazing afternoon, and we'll see you next time. Have a great one, everyone. Bye for now.